right. All right. All right. All what's right. Up? All I'm right. bringing us in. Oh, okay. Well, come on, Miss Park. Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I hope everyone's doing great out there. I got my, my friend over here. All right. All right. <laughs> Michael with Tatiana here with episode 46 of the Watch for the Hook Business and Entrepreneur Podcast. How do you keep that number memorized? Child, I mean, you love certain things, you just know the number. Okay. You okay. know, this is May, our anniversary month. You know, right. like, it's going to be 12 years. This I had almost forgot about that. Oh, see, see, <laughs> see, see, no, there we go. <laughs> well, I, I digress. Yeah. I don't want her getting all off into a tangent. Whatever. So, Miss no, Parker, no, no, what are no. we talking about today? So, uh, today we are going to talk about a topic that's near and dear to me, from idea to implementation. Idea to implementation. So, what does that mean, Miss Park? Uh, honestly, for me, it means from the time you have that, um, what do you call it, lightning in a bottle? Oh, man, you had that first <laughs> lightning in a bottle moment, which I call the idea phase. Yeah, yeah. You have that um, to uh, actually getting things in motion, putting that, getting that plan hashed out. And putting it into play. Yeah, so there, there there are quite a few steps to go from idea to implementation. It's a lot of steps. And like and so you no, know, one of one of the first steps we'll talk about is courage. So <laughs> like what we're doing, you have to have courage to sit here and put yourself out there like this. Yeah, you do. You really do. Forty six plus weeks ago we had an idea about a podcast. And yeah, and we had no courage. Hey, look, no, not forty six weeks ago, like like uh 50, 50 weeks ago. So we'll tell y'all the original idea that we thought for the Watch for the Hook podcast because it wasn't business the entrepreneur at that time. It was just going to be Watch for the Hook podcast. Yeah, it was. And the first suggestion was that we should interview older or retired boxers. Almost. You know, I love my boxing. I love my boxing fans. But I'm like, that ain't for us. Mm -mm. Like, you know, uh, you know, George Foreman got a movie out right now. Shout out to Big George. But I couldn't have my wife trying to talk to Big George for him. No, and it wasn't it, even it, about um, that. It's just the concept yeah. wasn't right. Mm -mm. It, it wasn't right. And at that point in time, we were also trying to maneuver the apparel line away from the quote-unquote glove. Yeah, yeah. Glove we didn't want to get stuck in a box. Yeah, yes, we're moving that box. So, you know, first thing we talk about, we got to have the courage. You do. So we had the courage to say nay to that first we idea. We did. And what have I always said? It's okay to say no. Exactly. Say it again. No! Ask me for something right now. Can I get $600? Nope. I like Damn. saying no. I, I like that's saying no. I so, sure need $600. You, no, though. you don't. <laughs> so it's okay to say no. And honestly, this was at that particular time, and I, I won't go all in, into the you know, historical context, but that particular time is when we were actually learning that um, just because we thought someone got us, we figured out they did. We figured yes. out quickly that they did, um, and it, and we realized then that not only is it okay to say no, but <laughs> hell, we need to start saying no more often and quicker. Okay. And also, if you're having trouble getting us right now. I want you to double download every episode we put out so far so you can get us. You know, just to help y'all out on that understanding tip. That's right. That's right. Because I promise you, um, as you go from episode 1 to 45, because yeah. it's 46, yeah. so you will you will get us. And hopefully, we will help you get yourself. Exactly. That's the whole point. So, yeah, yeah. to me, that's what idea to implementation is. Lightning in a bottle yeah. to putting that plan in place. Yeah, but that first step was courage. Yeah. So the second step is going to be empathy. And so empathy is what we talked about uh, kind of like last week on our uh, customer service is key. Oh, yeah. So being empathetic about who you're dealing with or who you're trying to talk to. Because what me and Ms. Parker have had learned is everybody don't get you up front. No. And no. if you're not em empathetic about it, you'll just brush them to the side. You will. You won't learn from it. Exactly. And everything is about what? Learning. It is. It better be. Yeah. And people don't understand. You can lose yourself in the hooks. You can. Because the hooks are what is going to deter you yeah. from becoming the greatness that you're seeking in life. That's right. And so if you're not empathetic to somebody that had a hook like you did, yeah. then you're missing it. 
You are. So we figured out, you know, one thing we have to do is, is one of the key big things in customer service, be empathetic to your customers. If something didn't get right to them or if they say you had a little defect or something, you have to be like, hey, let me help y'all out. Let me send you something else. Yeah. Just because you were inconvenienced on our end, even though it might not be nothing we could control. Right. So that's part of having em empathy about yourself. Third step, this podcast is what? The F word. <laughs> no, not that F word. <laughs> Focus, people. I was like, what? Focus. Hey. I, I mean, even like for us with this podcast, we've had to do what stay focused. We have. We've had focus is it can be um, really getting into your lane. It can be staying with a common theme and thread, which for us that's what it what it is. Because let let me just say this: for us to go and um, interview boxers. We were not going to be able to sustain that. Yeah, it wasn't going to be a focused topic. It wasn't. And, and, and we had to figure out how to tie that back to our brand and our why, other than that very pungent glove. Yeah. It had to, we had to figure out a way to tie it to something other than that glove, which is what, again, we were trying to kind of steer away from yeah. so that we wouldn't be boxed in. So, why would you go and do a whole podcast? Based on something you're trying to um, not have as the focus point for you. That's crazy. I honestly think we found a focus for this podcast even before we changed and even before we rebranded the name to the Business and Entrepreneur Podcast. We found our focus, I would think, about episode three or four. Episode three was. No, episode two was overcoming the hood. Yeah, episode two was one. Episode think, three yeah. was respect my dollar. Yeah. So once you get to talking about how people have <laughs> messed over your money, yeah. you'll get your ass in focus. <laughs> get your ass in focus real quick. <laughs> when somebody done stole and fucked over your money, you'll yeah. get now that's the that's the that's my that's my F word, but right. focus. focus. You'll focus real quick when somebody steals from you. Yeah. By episode three, yeah. this podcast got its focus going. That's when we realized that, okay, our apparel line is about the um, issues and hooks you have in life. Those real, just those problems, just just problematic areas. And, I, and we were like, okay, the podcast, you know, we're starting to see that even within business, for us doing a business based off of life, like, there are issues and stuff you need to shed light on. And so that's what we started doing with the podcast. So, hey, yeah. it's from experience, too. One thing about us for using the word focus is that we want to help people understand it's okay to make mistakes. It is. That's but episode. if somebody trying to help you not make the same mistakes, right. please take heed. Right, right. That's right. how you keep your focus. That's right. Exactly. So mm -hmm. we're going to go from focus to the next step. The next step is agility. Oh, I love that. So, it's a big thing about being agile. Yes. And especially in, we're in two separate lanes. Which yes, we are. Which speaks to our agility up front. We're in the parallel lane, and then we're also podcasters. Yes. And we did it backwards. We did. We went from apparel to podcasts. Most do podcasts and branch off and go to apparel. To merch. To merch. So, we showed our agility from the jump. Yeah. And... One thing about being agile is that you have to pivot. You have to be able to move and, and make certain hard turns. You do. Quickly. Quickly. Because those hard turns can save your business. Yeah. Sink or swim. Yes. You can fold or flourish. Yes, you, know, you can. Another podcast That's we talked about, that we talked about earlier this year. So, yeah. So, being agile in business can be a, like she said, sink or swim yeah. or flourish a fold or being in business or being out of business yeah because there were people and i'm gonna talk about like blockbuster you know because blockbuster was the shiznit in the 1990s you just dated yourself yeah i'm still <laughs> sexy still sexy is there a blockbuster around today do, 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 do. what's the answer miss Parker? i need the jeopardy music what's the answer where is it at if it is one it ain't one the okay. last one just closed last week so Blockbuster showed it wasn't agile after mm -hmm. it got hit with a hook. You know what the hook was for uh, Blockbuster? It was Redbox. It sure was. Not streaming. It was Redbox. Redbox went to corners. Yes, they did. For that, a dollar. Not, not corner stores, 
They went to being on corners, not big mortar, brick and mortar buildings that take up half a block. They were putting 10 to 12 on corners with the same amount of CDs or DVDs that they wanted at that time that were hot. Or even still, they were putting them, they, and they are now, outside of the buildings, like the yes. Walmarts and the Walgreens. And McDonald's. Yeah, you can get to, to um, the Red Box before you even get to the business. So... And that showed their agility. Yeah. And it so Blockbuster wasn't agile. So not being agile can do you from going from being in business yeah. to out of business. And they unfortunately are now out of business. And so we're going to move on to the next topic. Next one is teamwork. Got my right hand right here. <laughs> teamwork make the dream work. They have talked about if you're a, a no man is an island. And that just means one person can't do it by themselves. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. when they say man, they mean one man, kid, everybody. Individual. Yeah. One individual can't be an island. If you're an island and you ain't attracting nobody to come to your island, guess what you are? You abandoned. <laughs> you ain't an island. You abandoned. You don't know you're there. You lost. You forgot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I have my teammate right here with me. She's been with me every step of the way. And what we've also learned is we need more than me and her. We do. And we've had more people than me and her help us. We, you know, we've had graphic designers. We've had uh, other people that have And we us. still deal with, like, in that aspect. Yeah, yeah. So Absolutely. I, we ain't doing that. Yeah, so the, like so the Watchful Hook is, is is about teamwork. You know, it takes teamwork to make this podcast. You know, our kids help us on certain uh, channels on social media. Yes, they So, do. you know, we want everybody to know that you have to be able to work as a team. That is paramount. Yeah. Because you're not going to make it by yourself. You know, if you go look at these big Fortune 500 companies, they'll be like, oh, it started out with two or three of them. Shit, it ain't two or three of them. Now two or three hundred, two right. or three thousand, two or three million employees. Yep. That came from teamwork. Making the dream work. Making the dream work. Next step we're going to talk about, and this one thing I know I, I love about this woman. Determination. Oh, child, don't get me started on something and then expect me to quit before it's done. Shit, say it for the girl in the back, Miss <laughs> Park, and say it for the girl in the back. I will complete a task. I honestly don't care if I know it's going to be scratched, okay? I need to complete it for self fulfillment. I am <laughs> determined to finish it, it will be executed. We might use it for something later. Miss Parker basically just said, even if it's not for right now, right, it can be used for later. Right. That doesn't mean it doesn't get finished. Exactly. I'm going to finish it now. I got to finish a job. And so even like for business, even if you hit a bump in a road or you hit a stop block, the determination of you to get past those points or a.k.a. hooks That's right. can determine how your business keeps progressing. I mean, don't, I mean, that's deep, because listen, none of this shit is easy. Let's it's not it. easy. Let's just keep it. Um, listen. It's time consuming. Like, it's 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 stuff you will not get back. We're recording y'all right now, 7 o'clock Sunday evening. Why you got to tell them on this? Because that's determination. What time was we trying to record today? Um, Earlier. Yeah, usually <laughs> it's like 2.30 or 3. Exactly. Then but, it got booted to like 4.30, then 5. And now but totally. what's our recording day? Sunday. Sunday. It's going to get done on Sunday, period. Exactly. We had stuff that moved it, then yeah, shifted and yeah. moved it, but we had to wait. Get it done. We out chill now. Because... Mondays suck. <laughs> Mondays ain't available. For I can't do it. Monday. Mondays are not available for recording. I can't do it Monday. So that's why we talked about that determination says we record y'all every Sunday. We record. Then we release to you yeah. all every Wednesday. That's right. Every Wednesday we are giving y'all a brand new episode of the Watch for the Hook Entrepreneur Podcast. Gems. And right now I'm also pause and talk mm -hmm. about our sponsor. I was wondering when you were gonna do that because I was ready. Please come by www. watch the number four the hook com and check out the latest apparel. Me and Miss Parker rocking the definition tees. The hook hey, defined. Hey, telling you, man, everybody loves them, man. We appreciate y'all supporters and we want y'all just keep coming by and checking us out. Cause listen, we tell y'all we got something coming again here in the next few weeks. We do. We do. So and that that design is inspired by our youngest daughter. So. Tell y'all, man, we keep it coming, we keep it coming. <laughs>
And so, is this our last bullet? Our last bullet we're gonna talk about today: feedback, Whew. aka criticism, Ooh, aka you shoulda, aka could you have, aka don't you wanna, aka can you do, aka well can I have, <laughs> aka do you got time for, aka what about this? A.K.A. Can I? May I? Have I? Will I? Do I? Can I? Should I? Would I? At, listen. Hold on. I got one. Give it to us. A.K.A. Negative vibes. Hey. Feedback. And we got some feedback on a on a post earlier this week. Did we? Uh, so, Miss Parker, <laughs> uh, I'm speaking feedback. So, one of our YouTube uh, episodes, somebody... No, the one on... Uh, I won't... We were talking about customer service. I won't, I won't put the platform out there. You got me confused. What was customer service. What was the comment? Customer service is dead. Oh, is she trying? You got to tell me. All right. So there was a comment on one of the platforms. Don't y'all say don't say the platform. On the platforms, and the person said that customer service is dead. It's a thing of the past. It's a thing of the past. AI is the future. All right. Rule number one. Uh uh-uh, uh. You didn't finish it. What they, else? they said customer service is dead. <laughs> but come by my website and check out my stuff. <laughs> okay, yeah. So so we had here with the two part. First part, customer service is dead. That is that can never be true because you'll always have a customer if you want to be in business. Hopefully you will. So if you have customers, then you need to service them. You do. I don't care how automated you become. I you mean, can I mean there still has to be some type of compo- human component involved as long as there is a human running yeah. business and there are humans buying the product there's got to be customer you service. might dwindle it down to like one percent i'm assuming you know but even still like i'm sorry you've got to have customer service it's not going anywhere put it like this if you at the self-check lane in any of some of these well, places child, you better give them an example and there's an associate there because it's going to pop up and say, you need an associate. Yep. You know why that associate is there? Customer service. Mm-hmm. Even though AI is already involved yeah. with scanning your products, ringing up your total, and telling you how to pay. AI has already been in three steps. But if something <laughs> goes wrong... Who has to step in and save AI's ass? That blue vest got to fly from around the corner. Customer ser- <laughs> a human customer service, so it can never be dead. It really can't. So we done talked about that part. Right. Second part. If you are a person who wants to use somebody else's post or platform to draw business to yourself, this is my first advice to you. Don't insult them on the way in. Do, exactly don't. I mean, just just uh, listen. When I say feedback, remember, feedback is a two-way street. Oh, I was going to say that it is literally a two-way street. Like, don't do it. So you gave us feedback. The AI is dead. Feedback we got back from you, you stupid. <laughs> I just didn't understand how you can make a comment that customer service no longer exists. But then you say, come to my website. And, and 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 on your website, you want people to purchase things and interact with you to create what the crap ever it is that you do and a service that you can provide for them. Like, make it make sense. Stop. Fix it, hey, Zeus. <laughs> Shout out to my folks from Sick of the Mile. I was people. just like, that makes no sense. Yeah, I mean, you got to be honest with yourself. And this is where feedback, like we just said, the two-way street. If you're coming with the negative, be able to take that negative back with you. Yeah, but we didn't even respond. To we it. didn't respond. Because I, I, I was like, well, that's stupid. You could just simply delete the post. Or... You can have that post remain up so other people can see just how stupid you look as well. But also remember, if you were looking for a customer, you lost two. You sure did. Just that quick. You sure, because we're always looking for ways to partner and 
work with new whomevers, new yeah. whatevers, new service providers of whichever service. But you come in with that negative vibe, I don't do that. You don't get involvement, interaction, and engagement in business on our end from negative. Like you don't, it doesn't work because you messy. That's why we saying feedback is a two way street. Mm -hmm. So be careful with the feedback you're putting out because you may not get the feedback you want right. in return. Well, Miss Parker, hey, take us on the body <laughs> and give me something, cause child, I'm I'm sitting up here like I want to go in on tangent on, know, that, on that feedback, I but know. I'm not gonna do it. I know we not we not. Yeah. So you just dropped a whole lot of bullets on us yes appreciate you i have my idea and thoughts of what my top one out of all would be give it to me do you have an idea or a thought uh my, my number one is gonna be determination okay i just think as long as you're willing to fight you got a shot okay that's it as honestly, long as you got a dog in that fight you yeah. you, you fight honestly um my number one is 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 agility agility you can have in a professional workspace, be it your own business or that you're working in a corporate setting. Um, you can have it or you should have it in a personal space. Um, it only allows for you to constantly move around and grow. Um, when you show that you are that you are an agile person, it shows so much about you. It actually makes people want to deal with you um, in either business or personal. So keep agility at the forefront of your mind as you move through. And you may have to quietly yell, scream, or shout about something that you don't want to be agile towards. But if you push through and you become agile with it, work with it, don't work against it. You'll win. That's it. I'm done. Hey, yo, man, check this out. We appreciate y'all listening to Idea to Implementation on the Watch for the Hook Business and Entrepreneur Podcast. We'll catch y'all next time.